Okay, guys. All right, so this is gonna be a little different this week. I thought that I would take it back to where my digital planning adventure first started. Okay, so as you can see right here, possibly, this is a 2018 planner. I started digital planning in May of last year, so it has been a year for me on this journey. Um, this was the first planner that I ever made. This is on my iPad mini 4 and I'll be using my bamboo fine line stylus. Um, this is the Apple version. I don't think they make an Android version of this. I could be wrong though. Um, just for some um, context, <laughs> this was my, oh wrong one. This was my first ever spread on a digital planner. This is the Golden Girls, don't judge me, <laughs> but this was in May of last year. So I'm gonna use the same layout. Um, full disclosure, I did not stay with the mini for long. Not because it's not adequate for digital planning, but because I wanted the space. I wanted the, um, the Apple Pencil and uh, that I went, uh, I got those, I got the 9.7 iPad for Mother's Day last year. So before that though, I used this stylus and then of course my smudge guard, which if it looks a little janky right here is because I had to cut it and sew it. I have freakishly small hands and this was just way too big for me. So I'm gonna be using this little pastel unicorn kit. Now, if you guys follow my channel, you know that my planner is a lot more <laughs> than this these days. So I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to plan on here, but I'm gonna try. One thing I do like to look at, I'll go ahead and get started while I, while I reminisce. But one thing I like to look at is how um, my layout is basically the same. I mean, I have more space now but like my Saturday Sundays are still one box. And uh, the basic layout is very similar to what it was when I first started, which I think is kind of fun. Um, one thing I'm noticing straight away, for one, this stylus works amazing on here, but what I'm not liking is the screen protector. It's a, I think it's just a, a plain tempered glass protector. Whereas on my iPad Pro, I have a matte, like paper-like protector, which I love. And I can feel the stylus kind of dragging on here. This is so nostalgic for me. You can see my boxes aren't perfectly, perfectly made. Okay, so... Do I even have a checkbox? I don't. So I'll use one of these, I guess. <laughs> but the stylus is working great. I know that the uh, the iPad Mini 5 supports the first generation Apple Pencil. But um, honestly, you guys, if you uh, if you're looking for an alternative, I mean, this pen, this bamboo stylus, works fantastic. So this was supposed to be for like decorative washi, but I don't think I sized it very well. <laughs> okay, I, I, I guess. Um, one thing I don't like about this, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it, but the tip moves a little bit and that's kind of distracting. I'm used to how how rigid the uh, Apple Pencil is. So these things across the front here were um, my habit trackers. So I would edit photos each day, work out, film, upload, uh, shoot, kids school, and my water intake. I don't do it that way anymore. I do kind of miss that though, to be honest. Okay. Oh, whoops. So 
So I have just one full box for each day. Apparently back then that was enough. So I don't um, have all of my supplies on here. I mean, I did download my standard sticker book, but uh, this is my shop book and I don't have um, like all of my dates and stuff on here. So I'm just gonna have to kind of, I'm gonna have to get creative. So we're gonna come over here and we'll just test and write some dates in. So you can see I'm resting my palm on here and it's totally fine. All right, so I'm probably gonna speed through some of this um, because obviously without the adequate space I'm not going to be able to do a full plan with me. This is more of just a nostalgic planning in the old school planner kind of situation. So I will say this is when I first started digital planning, um, I was really intimidated because when you are first starting out, this seems like a lot, especially if you're coming from a paper planner situation um, to have to remember how do I import this? How do I do this? How do I do that? It's a lot to do, um, but I will say that coming back to this setup after having been planning for a year, it's not as difficult as I remember. And I think that's because I'm not fighting with trying to, um, trying to learn as well as trying to navigate a system that's not as smooth as it is on another device like the iPad Pro. But coming back to it, it doesn't seem near as daunting as it did then because just doing this bit that I'm doing now would have taken me like an hour before and again I think that's just coming with practice but coming to it with that knowledge to this older setup it's it's a lot easier than I remember and I'm pretty sure it's for that reason all right so I'm gonna try to write We'll see how this goes. And again, this is not gonna be all of my tasks, um, but we'll just, we'll do the big ones. know if it's um, mental, but I'm finding myself pushing harder with the stylus than I normally would. I think, I mean, if I were to barely do anything, it still reads. Okay, so that, yeah, it's pressure sensitive. Hey, something of note, bamboo on the iPad mini is pressure sensitive. So that is going to be it for this video. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, like I said, this is an iPad mini four um, with a bamboo fine line. I will um, link both of these in the description. I don't know if you can still get these new. Um, I mean, I did purchase it last year, but I had a hard time trying to find this when I was trying to recommend it to a friend. So if I can find it, I will link it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. And if you uh, want more freebies, planner tips, go ahead and join um, the Everyday Digital Planners group on Facebook. The link is in the description. I'm pretty darn active on there. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.